All right, we sound good. Okay. Nathan, I think I brung this in the last like three episodes. <laughs> Welcome back to the React Lord Podcast. This is React Lord Podcast episode 61. And it is like dusk in Long Beach, California. It's like dark out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not but even it's, dusk. It's, it's early. Just dark. It's, it's early. It's not even seven o'clock. Isn't it crazy? Like I hate it used it. to be like light until nine. It's Love gross. Love it. Yeah. That's when I liked going outside. So that that's it for you? The sun goes away. So does Nathan? No, Nathan doesn't go away. I just like, um, it's just like, I'm not outside as much, mostly just because I don't want to travel through it because I, I, everything's on my bike. So it's like, hate it when I'm cold, like sweaty. But we have our puffy vest. At the same time. Yeah, but like being cold and sweaty at the same time is such a weird feeling. And I, I just hate it. Yeah. I hate it so much. Dude, it's been a long time since we've had beer on the pod. You want to go over? We got L- Lagunitas. Yes. I'm not Lagunitas saying that right. Okay. Is what, Lagunitas <laughs> is what I would say. Okay. My baby um, said it the Hispanic way. I have a That's right. Something, something. We got the IPA variety pack. Uh, Island you know, Beats. I had a Lagunitas a long time ago and it was not good. It like gave me a headache. Oh, um, really? Yeah. But it wasn't, I don't Yikes. think it was an IPA. I think it was just from this. Um, this brewery and this is like the first time since i've had well i hope it doesn't give you a headache no it's actually these are great these are great all i care about is if it's hazy ipa yeah i don't know why but we didn't get the golden road pack right they don't have no because we were at el super and they have like a different variety of like beers and stuff so Mm -hmm. they didn't have like all craft stuff i would i think i would consider this like craft in the same way that i would consider like stone mm-hmm. like what is stone it's like grocery store mainstream grocery store craft beer you can find oh. it almost anywhere yeah okay oh, i've never heard of it well, i miss uh, anywhere my in california there yeah you know what i've been seeing a lot of uh billboards in california of lately that is kind of a rare beer but um a staple on the east coast okay Michelob Ultra. Oh, no, okay. Michelob oh, Ultra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but I've been seeing a lot of like Michelob Ultra billboards. Oh. I, I hadn't really seen that beer here much. Okay, fair. I feel like um, in Orange County, they drink a lot of Michelob Ultra. At least when I was a waitress, mm. they would be drinking a lot of Michelob Ultra. Okay, okay. I can I see, see that. I see like a lot of Budweiser when I was growing up. Like Not that's anymore. My no. Or no, that's Bud Light. I don't yeah. even, I don't fucking drink I mean, beer. it's all the same company though, but like... My uncle would drink Budweiser mostly, so I saw like the white and red can a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, it, and that's pretty much it. Red, you know? Yeah, it was just red. Yeah. I remember it just being red when my grandpa drank it. He also drank just Budweiser. But um, I remember being in high school, everyone was drinking Paps, baby. It was all about oh, Paps by the time yeah. I got there, yeah. Um, I don't really do fucking generic beer, but we have it tonight. And it's not generic. We, we Like you said, I would consider it closer to a craft beer, but it's like a mid-sized um, brewery, I think. It's not really a small so. craft brewery, you know? So anyway. Um, Wait, some, I have what, mine too. With water, right? No, it's wine. Mm. It's okay. San Antonio fruit oh, yeah. variety. It's new. Wine and it's delicious. Oh. Although it's kind of dangerous, it kind of tastes like candy. Peach that right? really looks yeah. like water. That's crazy. Peach mm. and you can really else. get away Special with smuggling fruit. that into places. Really? You need to go to the bathroom now. Yep. We'll be right back after this poo break. <laughs> I can't even pause it. That was his pee. He's rebooted, and we're back from the oh. longest pee ever that our dog has apparently taken. It was just a pee. It was just a pee, false alarm, no poop break necessary, but we're back, baby. And uh, can I kick us off with some personal news? Because we went shopping, we went shopping and look at, okay, well, it's not there, but look. We bought (laughs) the city. (laughs) It's right here. Look at that. Look at that, folks. You look good, dude. I'm so excited. We're going to name your price, which is like a 70s style kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. game show on Twitch. So bell bottoms were a must. So yeah, we're going to look the part. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I think but. I'm going to go simple. Like I was telling um, I was telling V that I couldn't decide whether I wanted like an oatmeal colored shirt to go with it or just plain white. I mean, it's not plain, but it is a white tee. Mm-hmm. And I think the white tee is better. 
Yeah. Crisp. It's crisp. It's tight. It looks good. Yeah. Nice. I, I, I'm convinced. I might just wear this tee. Okay. I'm still, I'm same shirt. I mean, but <laughs> it's, it's hippie, picture, which but... is good. Yeah, I think it's good. And it matches the pants. It's like a cream colored. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I was going to wear a vest to actually a denim one. Okay. So maybe I should wear I mine. Know. I was saying I would wasn't going to wear mine because it was kind of clashy, but maybe we'll just... No, Clash together, you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll make yeah. it work. Yeah. Or maybe May has... Or maybe... V has a I have yeah I have some really cute vests that I was gonna try to pull together but we we still have time yeah so we'll, we'll make that work but this was fun I thought I thought this was a good way to kick us it off looks so it looks so good I think it's fucking fire maybe I'm I excited. need to find me some bell bottoms I was trying to look for one of those seventies themed dresses yeah um they're all tiny I <laughs> am almost five eight so I can't. Yo. What is that about, though? All of the 70s clothes. I was picking up what they were referring to as 30 waistband, and, and they were pretty much fitting me in, in today's sizing. I'm like a 27. That was, it, everything seemed a little bit smaller. I want to, like, I want, I feel like I've heard. No, um, I'm not talking from any place of confidence, but I'm just going to say <laughs> it is that I heard or think I heard that people used to just be in general shorter. And like, we've gotten taller over time. Is that not true? Well, I think it's a combination of that. And I think it's also a combination of what that girl was saying about um, stuff being tailored to people. So it would fit them perfectly. And like, I feel like now we have like one to two inches of overhang normally. So no one tailors anything anymore. Yeah, nobody tailors anything anymore. You just buy it off the rack. That's not true. Mass produced. I like, it totally is true. If you were to break down the statistics of like people that oh, tailor yeah, their true, clothes, true, 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 bro, true. it would probably be close to like a 2%. Or, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, it's not normal. Yeah, it's yeah. not. And I think normally, and I would say that like that 2% would mostly dig, dictate people that like do it for special occasions. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would yeah. be a large number of actually people mm -hmm. that are getting their things tailored, you know? I was weddings, et cetera. Honestly, I feel like vintage style is the best for you guys because it looked everything you were trying on or everything that you were like holding up. I'm like, that's yeah. like the perfect length. It, that's like the perfect length. It yeah. is really good fabric and stuff back yeah. then, but it's more expensive. But what is underrated is the cost of tailoring your clothes. It's really yeah. not that mm -hmm. expensive considering. But, well, and I don't think it is. Oh, well, sorry. Yeah. It's not that I think you might even get there is that. I think the price is comparable for the quality of the clothing. Mm, quality. Mm. Because like if you matched those pants, well, I like the trouser that I bought, it was $65. Yeah. But I think it matches the quality of a pair of pants or trouser that you could get now that is $65. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it's just the way it feels, the way it presents it's just i don't know i don't think they, they make clothes like that anymore and i, I think, think the clothes that they do make mm -hmm. that would rival that that quality that we feel when we touch that going to be astronomically priced and it's probably going to come from like the uk you I know mean, what i mean like when i look at like the levi's pants yeah for example that, yeah exactly like they're levi's in the 65 dollar yeah. range and i think that they're of the same quality but we're talking denim i mean that's kind of specific to denim okay true. we weren't really looking at denims a mm. lot of the time yeah like yeah. corduroy and those heavy they were always like that special. stuff is yeah. like special that stuff is like heavy yeah. like i picked up your pant and i was like oh my god and not, it looks light but then i picked it up and it felt heavy and mm -hmm. like thick again yeah let's look at it so good dude i almost like yours better i like you just I, need I to let yours trouser. down just a little bit yeah because you're letting it out that was really cool the mm. lady that we got these pants from yeah uh, mentioned that sometimes back in the day they when they would you know fix these tailor or it. tailor it they wouldn't leap they wouldn't take off the fabric they mm -hmm. would just cuff it <laughs> so there's fabric under there and yeah. oh, totally. you'll let it out and it'll probably be more of a bell Mm -hmm. yeah a bigger belt yeah. than it already is i think it's gonna look really dope we're gonna look really dope yeah we're yeah. gonna look great and we're totally gonna fit in it's gonna be awesome yeah and have, we're gonna find me a dress <laughs> yeah we will that is gonna be next week we're gonna talk about that personally it's gonna happen okay it's gonna happen i promise yeah haven't you anything else besides uh shopping for you guys uh for personal news and just your week before we, um, you know, jump into any like TikToks or am I the assholes? I got some other stuff to mm -hmm. share, but I didn't want to make it all about me. <laughs> I could easily do that. <laughs> you know, I find yeah. it 
one thing this week, you know, because we're also going to a 2000s themed party Dude, as we well. we have so many parties. Yeah. So I just like, I'm not going to lie. I feel like it was harder for me to think of an outfit for the 2000s than it was. F- and I lived through that. Like I did that. Right. Then it was for me to like think or visualize a pattern that I wanted for the 70s. And what does that say? I don't know. No, it says that the 2000s are boring as fuck. Yeah, like, I, <laughs> everything is... And I was telling you, you could easily just wear like a wife beater, like a white t-shirt tank top underneath any t-shirt layered, that's yeah. too small. Any yeah. t-shirt that's too small with a it's white layered. t-shirt underneath that's obviously like pulled down underneath the t-shirt. You gotta okay. see the white t-shirt. That's just the look. Like it's just Lindsay Lohan in any movie she was ever in in the early 2000s. You know, okay. you know yeah. what it makes me think of? What it is? Like mm. you said, it's all very basic and it's not good. We look back at it and we're like, we yeah. don't want to emulate that again. Don't forget again. the scarf. So when, after you pull down the white right. shirt, you put a scarf on. because Right. And your Ugg boots with your mini skirt. Like, yeah, it, it, yeah you got it. it. Nobody wants to emulate that now. But it's like a huge trend now to like emulate 70s, 50s, like 60s. Like all those styles are like... People think they're fashionable. Nobody looks at the timeless. Two, 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 timeless. 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 Nobody looks at the 2000s like, oh yeah, I want to do that again. No. You know? I mean, just look at Nathan. He's rocking a fucking mullet from the 80s. He looks like an 80s like villain from high school. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> With vests. <laughs> like, yeah, you were an asshole that like chased people in your truck. You know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, but again, what I don't know. What would my truck's name be? I don't know. Betsy. Okay. Yeah. That's a good uh, name. Thelma. Thelma. That's names. the one. Thelma's the one. I don't know. You know, but what I will say though is you're right. I think, you know, it just hasn't got there yet. Like anything pre, you know, the millennia. So 2000s pre yeah. is timeless. It's, it's more vintage. Anything that is post millennia, mm. not vintage, not mm. hasn't hit that timeless sort of vibe yet. It's just not there. I don't think not it'll yet. ever not be yet. timeless. I'm going to be real. I was yeah. looking for inspiration and yeah. I just like, Nobody wants to wear low rise jeans like that again. Nobody <laughs> wants to wear those mini skirts again. Listen, nobody wants to, to layer three tank tops together. Like it's one of those things where it's like we were trying to do something cool and it just did not work out. There's a lot happening, but this is just like, like oh my god, no, you know. Anything Lindsay Lohan was doing in the early 2000s. I mean, those <laughs> low ride jeans like how do you how do you she was the queen of 2000 fashion like anytime anyone's like it's 2000s for me i'm like are you sure i'm like no you shouldn't be who (laughs) said those pants were flattering who told people those pants were flattering i don't know men in suits in the fashion industry Uh, it's bad it like we try especially our best with what we were given okay like i wear like Kurt. Nathan's real quiet over there, babe. What is he? <laughs> it's because I'm I'm speaking on women's fashion. Mm-hmm. As you should be. Good job. As you should be. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can comment. But um, I think it, like, I don't uh, understand you're wrong. it. My oh, opinion. My- <laughs> like, cover the mic. How do you turn this off, babe? <laughs> um, <laughs> How do you turn this thing yeah. off? <laughs> um... <laughs> Now you made me I'm forget sorry. my thought. <laughs> you were no, saying oh, the 2000s attire. I say, like, these pants don't make sense because for a woman with curves, why the hell would you want these pants to hit you in the middle of your goddamn curve? I don't think curves were in. The ass technology hadn't hit peak yet into the Okay, 2000s. but there was... Uh, um, this wasn't designed for asses. I think that was the inherent flaw and why it's not going to be timeless. Oh. Um, you know what I mean? You can fill out a dress. Versatile. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it, it, again, I think a lot from the 2000s really hinged on denim. <laughs> and not in a good, healthy way. You God know? God awful denim. Yeah. All right, Nathan, speak your truth. Say your piece. What's your two cents? I like denim. <laughs> you like the 2000s fashion or what do you think about it yeah what's your vibe about the 2k's the whatever you want you know I, okay so uh-huh. with like low, low rise pants I, the most i saw that was actually watching charmed and phoebe's like fits in the show yeah and it was like 90s into 2000 into the 2000s oh, sorry the reason that i say that is only because i think that the 90s like Pops and stuff yeah. went better were more flattering with the low rise jeans okay because it was like 
Yeah. How you were saying, like in Charmed, you see it every so often with Phoebe. Mm. And I feel like it was like. Oh my God, this is my middle school place. crush. Stop. Yeah, I was going to say, you know who another good um, pinnacle of early 2000s was? Avril Lavigne. She was kind of doing the same, like, what are, are we doing? <laughs> Smallest t-shirt for some reason, right? Instead of a scarf, you know, she was rocking the tie, but you get the neck wear. Yeah. This, yeah, you know, too many layers. She's so cool. It's. She's so cool. What is. She's so. I look, I don't want to say you guys are wrong, but I think like, you know, the 2000s attire, I think it's it's coming, (laughs) it's on the cusp of becoming timeless. And I think the, the people who are like pioneering, bringing it back or like, um, the people who are, uh, wearing 2000s attire, I think they're like, they're, uh, there's another word for like pioneer, like pushing that envelope that like, it will become timeless because of what people are doing. What are they doing now? Wearing it. Wearing 2000s entire, making it, up it look or cool. Is it like true? I don't know. I, haven't, I don't know. It, it would be like, I think the hipster is usually a person who like pushes the envelope. Like why the fuck are they wearing that? I mean, I think I could, I will go as far to say like maybe, you know, the 2000s are coming back in the sense of like, we're getting rid of the skinny Jane. We're really embracing like the straight leg. And that mm-hmm. was really big in, in the 2000s for men's fashion. You know what I mean? What I don't want to see come back are the fucking trashy polos with mm-hmm. the collars that were popped way too much. You know I, what I mean? Like, I would even argue that the skinny jean I don't came in like the 2010s. No, 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 no. I'm just saying the move away from that, yeah. I think, is what's saying what I'm trying to say is like that is the 2000s gotcha. coming back when, you know, skinny jeans weren't a yeah. thing. I can I can kind of see like the, the looser fitting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we're not going bell bottoms necessarily. Like we're not completely yeah. letting go of of the the tapered look, you mm-hmm. know. Um, anyway, I don't know. I used to wear skin tight pants. Yeah. They were skin we tight. all did. Yeah. Too we tight. all did. Too tight. Um. But I, I mean, I think the 2000s attire is cool. Would I personally wear it? Nah, I'm more, I'm, I'm an all in type of guy. And like, I have my wardrobe already. And, it, uh, but the low, right. Oh, what I wanted to say was like the low rise pants. Mm-hmm. When I was watching it in Charmed, I don't know. I like always had this theory that like, it must have some, it must be from, some like birthing obsession or something. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it was always like the stomach and the low rise always made it look more bump. No, it, it, but that's the thing though. That's what I, exactly what I'm saying. That's that, like, why. Or the tramp stamp. Yeah. I feel like this was so popular back in the two thousands that they literally made the right. jeans to show it off. I, I think that tramp stamps that's are my sick. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> I, I think that would be cool to bring back. Uh, but I don't, <laughs> to I don't, be totally honest, like, I'm going to be a little self-deprecating here, but, like, I don't think men are ready. They're, like, it would, it would attract the wrong ready. type of attention. <laughs> nah, I, I just, I don't think, like, American male society can handle that and, like, mm. be respectful. Some, I'm not saying all, some, but a majority, I think, would lean in a negative way with it. Even though I think they're so sick. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I, I, I see your point about like the hips, right? But I think it's unflattering to the hips, to be totally honest. I think it makes it look like you have no curves. What, the tramp stamp? No, the, the style of the pant, like if it did show off the tramp stamp, it's like a combination. Like it looks like you have less hips. You know what I'm saying? It's like very like... Yeah, I guess so. But it doesn't show the curves. Like, is that what you're looking for? You would rather show curve. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, but do y'all remember this? I, <laughs> like, the jeans were so low; they had the tram the stamp basket. and the thong. I, <laughs> yeah, that one's actually. I'm oh, so sorry. Um, <laughs> our dog farted. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to pause. Like, oh, wait, is the AC farty. on? Is the AC on? No, 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 we never turned it back on. Oh, yeah, open the window. What are we doing? It's hot as hell in here. Oh, my God. Um, the AC's not on and the window hasn't been open this whole time. We slipped up. That was deadly, man. What are we doing, though? Wait, what, what, what is Again, it? Again, I think, like, 
if people could just not be weird about it, like this is this is an expression of like sexual promiscuity that like <laughs> not even I just think it could be yeah it could be cool and and like a thing, but I don't I just just too many people are gonna like treat this person so badly. What's wild when you say this is like. This was already a thing. It already happened. It was already going on. Like, this was a trend. Yeah, <laughs> you know but I, I mean? feel like People, at that time, you know? they were like, 100%, this person gets catcalled all fucking night. They don't now? No, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> even before and now, I just, I, I, if like that didn't have to happen, or I shouldn't have said it like that not have to happen but like <laughs> if, if that this didn't, didn't happen, happen <laughs> if it wasn't a reality like, yeah if it wasn't a reality yeah, yeah. like this would be so sick and a I different facet that. to like fashion and like a variety to wear and like feeling hot out when like yeah. you're in public that like unless you have like balls of steel like and no matter what like if you fucking want to wear this balls like you should you should steel. and you can and so sorry for how your night will turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reality that we face, you know? Yeah, I tell you all the time, too. I mean, like, you know, we also live in downtown. So it's just, like, shitty. Yeah. And there's, like, a lot of people. Mm. All you gotta be cautious of. And, um, you know. I low-key loved this tangent. And we kind of were on it for a long time. But you know what else came out of the 2000s that was also fire? Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, because I got Spider-Man fucking <laughs> too, dude. And I've been playing it, playing on my PS5, mm -hmm. downloaded it last night. I'm now level three race. Nice. So um, I'm moving up in rank, baby. I've unlocked suits. Okay, I'm playing as both Miles Morales and Peter Parker. We're doing a lot, baby, and it's fun. I don't really have a lot to, to update you on because, like I said, I'm a level three. I haven't done too much, but, like, it's fun. It looks so fun. Yeah. It looks so cinematic. Like just watching it, it's kind of like a movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I passed on playing last night mostly because like I didn't want. I know the controllers. The, the controls are going to be super similar. Like but identical. I just, yeah, I just didn't want to have to like get back in that flow. Yeah, there's a little bit of different mechanics. Like there are a few more features when you hold down some buttons. So mm -hmm. like you know when you were doing the triangle to like zoom into like when your opponents now if you hold it you can actually pull them towards you i don't know if okay. you could have done that last time i don't think you maybe could've. it wasn't a skill you can buy i don't maybe it wasn't maybe it was i don't know i did kind of speed run spider-man one in, in preparation for this coming out so i don't but know this is pretty sick i think you were you hit the nail on the head yesterday with mm -hmm. like i wish there was a co-op mostly because there are two spider people like yeah. i love that you can play as both right but say like you want to play co-op online or something, it would have been kind of sick to be able to like stay locked in like, oh, you're only playing Miles Morales today or you're only yeah. playing Peter Parker or today. Or like considering I haven't played the plot, so maybe there's a reason for that. But okay. like I, what I will also say is the fact that most TVs on like PS5 is where this is an exclusive, like you can do split screen and yeah. like multi view. So mm -hmm. like why not? I, okay, so I was thinking about it and I think it's money. I think yeah. like everyone buys the game. Yeah, <laughs> no one gets well, to like but, jump okay. on their buddies. <laughs> but so I went back and forth That's on that because true. I was thinking like, okay, it's money, but it's not, I don't think it's necessarily purchasing of the game. Cause I think even if you plaid co-op, both people would have to play the game or, or sorry, buy purchase the game, the game. Mm -hmm. especially if you had like an online component. But I think there must be something else in the game that I haven't like encountered yet. Um, or they're like, it could still be money, but I just don't know how it is. Mm. I don't know. But again, it's very new. I just got it last night and, uh, I'm sure it'll be taking up a lot of my time in the coming week. And I hope so. I hope it takes up more <laughs> time than the, the, the first, the time. original Spider-Man. Well, was that Spider-Man yeah, yeah. 1.5 or One, 2 or what? Mm -hmm. I don't understand how they're. Like the story is very confusing the in the very to beginning. This one. <laughs> yeah, that's a better way to put yeah, it, actually. The you. prequel to this one. That was um, really good. That was very succinct. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I don't I don't know. But again, I'm going to be dedicating a lot of time. I'm not going to speed run it this time. OK, I've already started doing like side, side quests. Quest. I've been taking photos side of things quest. and like, you know what I mean? I've been doing the side quest. So, OK, don't worry your little it's little very hearts cool. out there. I'm going to take my sweet <laughs> it time. It looks incredible. I will have stories. I will have gripes to share. I'm mm. sure things to Google uh, plenty before you move on from Spider-Man. Yeah, I, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Toby McGuire. Number one. Drew Garfield oh. or Tom Holland. You got to pick one. Oh, we're ranking Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, or, or we, yeah, we can rank. We can rank. Um, well, I guess my heart belongs to Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Right? Okay. Tobey Maguire is the OG in the, in the, in the cinematic mm -hmm. realm of like the Sony Spider-Man, right? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, he's going to have a heart for life, I think. Uh, but I think Tom Holland. Okay. He, he's really like a cutie pie mm -hmm. and I appreciate his character and... I really enjoyed that 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 universe as well. <laughs> Me too. So yeah, Andrew Garfield is cheap, stinky. I don't like him. I don't know. <laughs> wait, wait. Do we I don't never, like him for other? I never even watched it. Do we like dislike him for a reason? You other can't than say that? you dislike yeah. it if you if you. If well, no, I didn't watch it because I didn't like his vibe. Oh, I just didn't okay. like his vibe. Like okay. I remember watching that trailer oh. come out, and I'm like, ew, mm, no, that's not Tobey Maguire. I always thought of Andrew Garfield as like Spider Man if he was a fuck boy. That that's ah. the vibe I got, which I'm not a, I'm not opposed to either. I enjoyed the Andrew Garfield right. movies, but right. Right. I also have to agree with you. Out of the three, I would also break him at the bottom, but I have to disagree with you on the Tobey Maguire. Okay. He what? what why he was my Spider Man mm -hmm. was. I, I change with the times. I evolve. I, Tom Holland's number Tom one. Holland? I mean, he's mm. so cute, right? Ooh. It's he's very cute. <laughs> Yummy. Honestly, Tom Holland, I don't know. You're, you're and he's funny. Right. Like you're he hit, right. he hits the the yeah. like punchline very like well. He's a up white boy. I can dig it, it. Yeah, I just I think like you're when right. I think you're right. Tobey Maguire kind of gave off sticky vibes. I mean, not even. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> stickier than Tom Holland for sure. But I think when I think of the comic book Spider Man, yeah, Tom Holland actually does a really good job, and right. it might not be to the fault of Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield, it might be because like even visually he looks more like the Peter Parker. I imagine in the comic, mm, mm. he sounds like, oh, and the Peter sounds, Parker yeah, too. Like, yeah, like his mannerisms are much more Peter Parker to me than, yeah. than the other Peter mm. Parkers. I mm. really like Tom Holland's character, mm. like the way that he plays Spider-Man. And I, you know, after seeing you know uh toby mcguire again re reprieved in yeah. in the most recent spider-man yeah i think tom holland takes the cake yeah. What, yeah, okay so i'm also thinking like toby mcguire spider-man yeah the only lines that are most memorable to me are the green goblin lines <laughs> so it's like no, i don't even remember the spider-man line or oh, except for Uncle Ben. Wait, wait. What was With the line? Great you power remember? comes oh, great, great responsibility. responsibility. Yeah, of course. That will live on course, yeah. forever in my heart. Live in infamy. But that, that kind of transfers over. People to People say that all the time too. Yeah. There's so many like contexts that's applicable. Mm -hmm. in. <laughs> but <laughs> the formula that will also live on in my mind. <laughs> so good. Um, all right, and that was that was pretty good. I mean, I didn't really do a lot. I I finished the video for work, but other than that, I mean, you're looking at my week. I did Spider Man. I went shopping. Mm -hmm. That is pretty oh, much. This is still personal news. We're just we're still chilling. Doing personal yeah, news. but I what I did do in the meantime was every now and then when I went to the bathroom, I'd pull up TikToks and I did I did create quite a compilation to bring to you guys. Okay. Um, and and some of them might spur some pretty good discussions. Actually, did you get so, mine too? You, you seem very no. excited. Yeah, um, I am so ready to to see and share and laugh. Okay, can yeah. I say one more thing about Spider Man though? Yeah, please do. No, no, no. Wait, hold on. Say all the things I didn't, about Spider Man. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt you guys. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I agree. Tom Holland, great. You know what it is? It's that he's the perfect between nerdiness and quippy funniness. Tobey Maguire was a little too nerdy. Not a lot of quip. You know, not a okay. lot of like when I think of Spider Man, mm -hmm. I think of like funny and yeah. like those sort of like funny quippy. things he says. Yeah, quippy when he's fighting, it's it's hilarious. It's mm -hmm. like how how we know him. But we also know that there's like this element of like nerdiness, right? Because of all the backgrounds and like knowing physics and all that quantum stuff. Whatever. What about Toby Maguire gave you nerdy? 
Um, I think it's like the, maybe not nerdy, maybe like reserved quietness, very like unsureness, okay. right? So I think like, although like Tom Holland does that perfect balance of like confidence, just enough to like pull stuff off, you know? Mm -hmm. Or like yeah. he kind of like uses humor to like give himself that fake confidence. I don't think Tobey Maguire could give off like confidence. I mean, he got like his Mary Jane based off of like proximity. Yeah. Truly. Mm -hmm. Tom worked for he it. He lived next door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Zendaya was always in proximity, but I feel like Tom worked extra hard. Yeah. In, yeah. in the films. So, like, you know, his, his Peter yeah. Parker worked extra hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was. He was yeah. working overtime for like to get his MJ. Whereas like the other one, it felt kind of circumstantial. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah happenstance, yeah, yeah. if mm -hmm. you will. I don't know. Yeah. But Tom Holland, Bay for life. Yeah. Also, um, the last thing I'll say is the game itself. I like, I don't like playing video games, but I like. That really so nice looking yeah yeah because like i'm into it you it's know i'm gorgeous, like yelling at dude. you or yelling mm -hmm. at the tv like because i'm into it because it's so like cinematic yeah. and i'm playing on the ps5 on my new oled fucking tv and let me tell you there was like a beam of light coming right through my blinds today and like before i turned the tv on it was black obviously the yeah. tv's off and i could see this beam of light but i like closed the blinds i'm like fuck i don't play through it i turn it on you can't even tell the light is on the TV. <laughs> like the TV is so good. And the, the, the graphics are so good on the P it was just, Oh, so amalgamation of goodness. I think, I think what we're taking for granted though, is that you guys would drop that all of that for, for just a little taste of Suica. Oh my God. I'm not going to get a Nintendo switch or fucking Suica. I've been addicted I, to watching people play it though. Holy shit. I want that game so badly. Oh my God. It's so addicting to watch. I Valky Ray. We've been watching cutie Cinderella Ludwig. Oh my oh God. My. It's so Honestly, bad. Uh -huh. I want that game so badly, but I can't rationalize buying a switch for it. No, if they had it in other stuff. Oh my God. I would be spending out. I would probably be streaming hours of me playing this game. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I got, I got, we got our PS5. And a, and a computer and that's what we need in life we you should not get in it and stop it, it stop it <laughs> <laughs> no. no yeah I'll no. wait until it you, gets if you popular do, if you enough. do the GameCube the Wii and the Nintendo 64 I'm sure that it's just trade in every Nintendo <laughs> product you own and uh, maybe no. even afford no. the Nintendo Switch I think I'll just wait until it gets popular enough and they convert it to other platforms okay. I know it's gonna happen Someone will do it, or maybe some knockoffs will it's happen. It's Nintendo. They don't let that. So it's oh. not Nintendo. No, it was but they made might, like third party for the want. App Store yeah. in Nintendo. Okay, and so maybe it it's, it's not off. like a Nintendo Studios. It's not like Zelda production. You know what okay. I mean? Like it's yeah. not like that. It's essentially a mobile game. I think if so it, how do you get it on your phone? That's what I'm saying. If it gets busy Essentially, enough. Essentially, dog. Okay. It's not a mobile gets, game right now. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. If it gets popular enough, <laughs> I'm mechanics. telling you, they're going to convert it. You're going to get it on your iPad, your yes. phone, everything. Okay. <laughs> the mechanics are pretty much Fruit Ninja, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, you slide it to the left and drop that shit. So why don't you guys just play Fruit Ninja? You combine. It's not the it's same. It's not like Fruit Ninja, Nathan. <laughs> it's essentially Fruit Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> my farm game is essentially Sorry. a farm game but i'm not doing any farm game you know what i'm saying <laughs> this is essentially a podcast we're gonna continue <laughs> did bring i brought some stuff mm -hmm. you did bring a lot of tiktoks and i wait how I do you know them. how many tiktoks i brought you get my well you said you brought a compilation hmm yeah, I thought you looked ahead, though. I thought you were trying to admit. Well, to, like, I can kind of see ahead. how many tabs there are. In it. I mean, no, I those are what like... Nikki brought, dude. Oh, okay. Those aren't even my TikToks. Those are Nikki's talk. Okay. This is my compilation. Okay. In app, let's mine go. Is, mine is a variety, a hodgepodge, if you will. Oh, oh my we'll God. start with this, babe. Wait, hold oh, on. Yeah, he's going to hurt me. I have to fix this. Or attempt to. Hold on, I got to fix I think this. unintentionally. Like maybe like your like feelings, crack a smile or, like or what? something. Feelings, you know? hug me, I break. You know, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you, uh, he had like a <laughs> ten pack. Okay, I will count it for you. Oh my God, killing me. Hold on. I mean, he's gorgeous. No one's no one's to feel that. But he's that's Norwegian. <laughs> Salad, fish. Hey, that's Whatever much better. Meat, that's oh, that's so much better. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> salad fish. <laughs> I love it. You gotta re reverse those. Go reverse on, those. My dude. expectations are to the second one. This guy, no. <laughs> yeah. Fish or Norwegian? Yo. 
He's so cute. That's so That's cute. my guy. He just popped the chain for Okay, 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 dude. This, this is the greatest interview of all time, okay? And it, it fucking is. It's kind of long, but it's popped the chain low-key worth us. it. So this is Tad Griffin, and you are a.k.a. Clutch Mikey. Clutch Mikey. So how did you get that nickname? Because I'm clutch. Never miss a putt under pressure. Okay, so tell me about, was it putt on number nine? Yep. I knew it was going in. I told him I made a putt on nine on eight the same. I walked up the nine fairway. I told all the people in my group, I'm gonna make this putt. I'm gonna hit him with the are you not entertained? And I'm right there. <laughs> Were they entertained? I'll, I'm not Brother, his name is Tad Griffin. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna hit him with the are you not entertained? <laughs> listen, listen. Tad, did you say Tad? <laughs> Tad Griffin. Tad. You keep rolling out that gas, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing 100% here, and I'm liking it, brother. <laughs> yeah. Roll it out, 100. Watch Mikey, I'm telling you. So you're also rocking some um, Waffle House. Tell us what your story is about the Waffle House. You know, it's the greatest restaurant. If they're looking for any NIL deals, I'm, I'm there. Basketball, I still got basketball and baseball left. So. What are your plans after high school as, as a senior? You know, I'm going to try to get on the PGA Tour. If that doesn't work out, probably the NBA. But if that doesn't work out, I don't know, probably Clark State Community College. <laughs> if they're hired. This man is a legend. You know, Fucking you know, legend, I'm trying to brother. be a professional, but if that doesn't work out. That's a man with a clear sights. Okay, yeah. he's got yeah. goals and he's got backup <laughs> plans. This is a man with an appetite for success. Shit, <laughs> this is a SAT question. One of these does not belong. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Tad, killing it, man. It's, it won't be halfway over. A fucking legend, this man. <laughs> hey, man uh, I just don't know. I don't know how much they pay. I'm looking for a little bit more minimum wage, but I'm willing to work. You're willing to work. You pop the chain. You show what you're, what you're kind of worth. Oh, yeah. So how did you prepare for today? Well, uh... I didn't really prepare, to be honest. I played a practice round, but I'm better when I'm just, you know, under pressure. That's why they call me Clutch Mikey. Just mess around and find out. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find out today? Found out that, you know, it could have been better, but it's the end of the road. Is 93 right even good? Four years. Shout That's out good, to right? The team. I don't know. In golf, isn't the number uh, lower Mikey better? Out. Yeah, Clutch because you don't want to have Clutch to. Mike, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay, but you know what? Even if it's not a good score, the way he was talking made me think that it was a good score. <laughs> he, he could probably convince me of just about anything. Yeah. <laughs> Again, he says it was such gravitas. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. In certainty. He could tell me that he does own a Waffle House. I would believe him. I know he's, he's you know, a kid in playing mm -hmm. high school. You know. Yeah, senior in high school. <laughs> but I'd be like, I'm he's gonna be sure. part of the PGA Tour. I'm NBA. sure you do, dude. I'm fucking sure you do. <laughs> I have this new rule for myself that I will not buy a cup of coffee if it's over seven dollars. I feel like that's a reasonable amount for a cup of coffee. So I'm about to go into this place, and if it's over seven dollars for their latte that I want. All right, pause. How much does it cost for a cup of coffee at the brew, at the place that you guys work right now? For a plain latte? Just a black cup? Nope, black cup of coffee. But theirs is, says $7 for their ooh, latte. Ooh, for a latte, you're right. It does say yeah. that. $7.50. Seven, ooh, so you, he would not be able to get the latte from you guys. That's regular milk if you want any sort of extra oat oh, almond. Mm -hmm. eight twenty five. Ooh, really? So okay. this guy would be getting iced coffee. <laughs> So you, so there is. No, something. he wouldn't get anything. He oh, said no, he $7. would leave. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> then I'm not getting it. And I would so say he's come in mason jars, so not not okay. off to a good start. <laughs> that's above the threshold, so. Fucking <laughs> 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 true. <laughs> that is true. the realest TikTok I've seen all day. <laughs> so <laughs> I felt that. Um, this one was just good because like, I feel like not enough people really understand this. This is value <laughs> added to your life after watching this TikTok. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Like it's one of those. Or it's explaining when you should go to an urgent care versus like the ER. And I think this is hilarious. So let's do them together, shall we? Step on a B and I love, I love the image we're getting. <laughs> urgent care, step on a beehive, emergency care. Need antibiotics, urgent care. Need anti-venom, ER, emergency. <laughs> Honestly, God, I, got, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Like, Venom, emergency care. 
I just, I'm one of those people that I really do struggle with understanding the difference between urgent care and emergency care. Oftentimes I just think the difference is the time that they're open. Okay. Mm. You know what I mean? That honestly, so this is just, again, really, it's a, it's a good lesson for me. I am paying attention closely as you should be as well. <laughs> I love the skull on it. The artwork though, UTI, urgent care. MRI, emergency <laughs> care. I mean, UTI, depending on how bad it is, could be emergency care, though. Like, I knew someone in... Oh, actually, I'm going to be be super vague with the story, but you'll know all the context. Is I was in a study abroad, and someone had gotten a UTI, and it had gotten so bad because they hadn't acted on it that from the last time I heard about it, they had to, like, change their diet. They had to make sudden and drastic life choice uh, life changes because it had messed their body up so much and i i i, the, I don't know the uti one kind of got me i i feel like so if it, it stings yeah. when you pee just go go anywhere there yeah, I, I think that's i think that would be considered an emergency i i, yeah. I, I would not fuck with the uti okay UTI, I, take care of that shit immediately and it's urgent care but yeah. if it's if you wait too long go to emergency, the emergency. care yeah. this is good tips why you come to our podcast right here value added <laughs> this is medical hey. advice <laughs> 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 just kidding just boom, kidding boom, boom. er you can't get you can't get simpler than this um it's so good though care. Yeah, shout out Baker. You're teaching us all and we're spreading the message again. That's value added. Right. All right, keep going. <laughs> POV. Yeah. Oh my God. Nathan, did I show you this one? I think I did, I right? I throw shit like that in the shop too. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what, I mean, I catch it though. Is this guy going to catch it? You guys might have noticed that throughout the week I have been watching a variety of espresso content. Okay. Um, I have been watching it because it's been showing up on my fucking algo. This is a video that really got me and it's the only one I liked throughout the week. So I hope you that you know you guys enjoy it as baristas. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you might. POV. You ask for your vanilla latte to go. He's at home. Yeah. It was the espresso machine that I was watching the YouTube video of, though. Oh, dude, it would be so yeah. sick. What I would give. Depresso. Shouts out to UCLA. You should uh, let my brother get that fucking espresso machine for the for the workspace. You guys would uh, benefit, Great, benefit greatly. <laughs> There's no way this guy is a barista, though. Like, this is something this Could man does in, in his, past. like, spare time, right? Anybody can be a barista. You just gotta learn yeah. the skills. I'm just, I'm, what I was really suggesting at here is that there's no way this man goes to work, does this for a living, and then no. comes home and does this in his spare time. No way. There's no way I could talk my wife, who's a barista, into doing this for me every fucking morning. There's no shot. If we I, had an espresso machine, oh. No, I think I disagree. Yeah, I think I you think would. I think for the first couple times, yeah, but then after, I'd be like, nah, make your own goddamn uh, I think I think you have the skills and you get the enjoyment out of it. I think you'd find yourself at the machine more often than not. How many Maybe. times at work do you make yourself a drink? Yeah, that's true. But it's Pops because three. it's on, right? Like everything's set up for you. And then I make a matcha. <laughs> and then I make a matcha so I don't have a heart attack. Um, my guy, is that? Does that not have a handle? It looks like it has like an insulation wrap on it though. It does. That is so dangerous. What if you just slip slightly? I mean, he's at home. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, How's his technique so far? I mean, it's fine. He's, he's aerating, aerating too, too much. much. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> You heard it here you heard here first. Bro, why shit. are you steaming that to like 250 degrees? What are you doing? Oh, I mean, maybe his system's set up differently. Like, oh, yeah, it maybe could be it different. takes longer to reach that temperature. You're right, you're right. Nicely done. Cleaning Nicely up after done. yourself. Done. Gotta, gotta appreciate it. Yeah. Yo, if you don't see your barista wiping the wand off after every single time, don't drink it. You got a it. problem. You're gonna get sick. You're allergic to nuts? Don't order there. Don't order. You're allergic to dairy? Don't order there. 
That's actually really good advice. Yeah. Value added. Also, make sure they get you a new pitcher if you are allergic to anything. Make sure they rinse that thing and clean it and sanitize it and rinse it again before they even use it. Great job. Look at that cute little heart. Stop it. It looks like an onion, but I love it. All right, grade the pour. Grade the process. I mean, this uh, was pretty I'd give spectacular. It an 8.5. Wow, that's it's pretty good. good. Yeah, it's like I would say. I would good. say uh, good. an amateur contest with home baristas. This guy wins. Yeah, he's one of the top for sure. Really, Especially with yeah. that pour and look yeah. at look at it looks like almost wet paint. You know, mm -hmm. even though he aerated a little bit too much, he still got a decent pour out of it. Yeah, yeah, I can appreciate the setup. This whole process is really lovely. So. Yeah, and even the coffee, like Coffee Bros, Tilly's. Wait, Tilly. it's probably I don't know, I don't know different if I've heard state. that one actually. You're turning thirty. I'm gonna be thirty. And oh yeah. Oh, dude, actually, this is exciting. I've seen this one. It's like about him collecting a certain item. Isn't that scary? Wow. It's a milestone. Oh! It's a milestone. Some people were like, I thought you were forty. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you young. No, kid. it's scary. No, it's scary. Okay, Pete Davidson is one of those people that look simultaneously very young and old at the yeah. same time. I am also one of those, I feel like. He's that got the George Clooney effect where he has reached an old age level, but that's, I think, in theory, this is my, my prediction, is he will not age past this. Mm. He will be like this for a long time. It's old, but he'll stay this way, not get older. Until he's like, 60s yeah. George Clooney effect yeah. George Clooney he looked like he was 45 50 forever he still looks good at he's 45 or 50 I was like how old is he now I'm 45 or 50 no he's old <laughs> yeah he looks like he's 45 um but we're all I'm you know, old I, I was accept gonna say turn 30 but some of us have already crossed that barrier yeah it's exciting yeah it's I mean, exciting it's it is it's exciting I mean, it's over no no because it's like when you're 30 like if you mess up like you're just like a drug addict or an adult you know what i mean in your 20s you could mess up because like you know they're like oh he's finding himself <laughs> but, but 30s means something no now if i mess up it like matters you know so <laughs> but no you're not going to mess up no it'll be fine you're turning 30. I'm going to be 30. I disagree. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell me why. What I mean, makes you okay. disagree with that? Well, so I thought this was a different TikTok yeah. where it, in the same interview, he talks about collecting VHS tapes that mm -hmm. like accrues a ton of money yeah. and like also kind of like alluding to the fact that he has a ton of money, which like, um, wow, you heard it here first. Pete Davis has got a ton of money. I think he can mess up and be fine. I think, I think you're right. <laughs> He could collect all the VH VH VHS tapes and they could be worth worthless. So are and you saying, that, you know, if, if you just have a bunch of money, then you can do whatever or like you can't mess up if you have money? No, you can actively mess up and be fine. It, in fact, you can actively mess up and make more money. Look at BP. It's, it's true. How many times are they going to spill oil in the ocean? Yeah, yeah. I mean... They're still around, huh? I feel like we're extrapolating kind of broad, you know? Uh, but, uh, yeah. No, BP's an, <laughs> like, BP is a human being. Well, okay. Because I that's how corporations work. I do that think, is a human. What I think Pete is alluding to here is the fact that he's old. And, yeah. and his decisions now hit a little bit harder. And I thought that as people that here, are... <laughs> in here, sure. <laughs> and to other people. It's a sensitive I, topic. I get you know it. What? I was having this conversation... <laughs> Funny when I went to an appointment. Yeah. I was having this conversation because I was like, I'm stuck between this, like, I'm going to be 30 mm -hmm. pretty soon here in like next year. Yeah. Less than six months. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be 30 and like, I have this, I want to look older, but I don't. I want to seem older. So I want people to not think I'm like a young kid still, but I don't want to look old does that make sense you want to be like taken seriously taken and seriously yeah because when i tell people my age they're always like oh what you look so young like i just yeah. got that today and i was like i'm not though please respect me as a full-fledged 30 year old just you know so what i mean you have a lot of money apparently that works you can't it's mess like, up you i thought I saying i'm married says something <laughs> but apparently it don't say shit <laughs> Listen, I don't know, but I, I think there is something to that. Like when you're 30, you know, 
you you want to you like Pete? I think again is trying to uh, get at there. Was like you just want to kind of at least look like you got it. You know what's going on because when you do make mistakes at thirty, it does feel like I'm supposed to be an adult, right? Like I'm supposed to know what's going on here. You, you know what I mean? And it feels like yeah. <laughs> really vulnerable when you don't. And it got also also you know nice and relatable to know that it other people don't have it going on either. Mm. You know we're all kind of bumbling around a bit. Yeah, um, there's something romantic I was about that. Saying earlier, <laughs> you know? like on the latest uh, of the Kardashians. Oh yeah, um, we just watched the Kardashians. Like, too, yeah. I really appreciate how Chloe says, like her 30s were a nightmare. She can't wait to be in her 40s. It's just like it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Like your 30s that's can suck. True. You know, like that's fine. Just you know, don't give up. What an interesting juxtaposition. Way to bring it back around to other content that we were watching today, actually. <laughs> Five it, dude. I have I have another like Kardashian. I have another TikTok that connects Smart. to this, so I want to bring it back around too. Don't let me forget. Um Come in. Th- is th- this is not it, but this one really made me giggle when I was on the toilet. Don't forget, I collect these when I'm on the toilet. So some of them hit harder, you know, the first time around. Okay. So be just be mindful of that. This is where right? I'm supposed to be if I want to work in the restaurant industry. One does not just work in the restaurant industry. There are levels to this shit. I thought I'd just submit an application. I didn't know there was a process. Yeah, take a seat. There are a few questions you have to answer to see if you're even ready for the restaurant industry. Absolutely. Is this like uh, food licensing questions, liquor laws? No, absolutely not. These are questions to make sure that you are fit working in a restaurant. Number one, do you have any tattoos uh yeah quite a few any shitty ones uh, a few you have a nicotine addiction uh no hmm. <laughs> oh, but i could start okay <laughs> you having an inappropriate relationship with the underage hostess who works at the oh. restaurant no absolutely not are people doing that gotta dock you a few points there and the answer is yes people do that all the time next question are you comfortable working for eight hours straight with no breaks i'm sorry we don't get breaks in the restaurant industry see we don't like to call them breaks it's more of windows of opportunity you get to eat leftovers while crouching on the floor yeah sounds good to me excellent are you comfortable talking yeah. shit about your coworkers? yeah it's actually my favorite part about coming to work with that attitude you'll go very far in this industry final question you open after a busy <laughs> friday night and there's a single crumb on the table what is the correct response take a picture and send it to the group chat and ask who closed last night oh my friend <laughs> congratulations you are ready for the restaurant industry I <laughs> you're gonna man. do great things kid <laughs> honestly yes <laughs> i i i have never worked in the restaurant industry but i still this still I made me laugh out loud yeah yeah i mean i don't really well, count work in food and and service right now you uh, are industry it's folk. not it's service industry i can see yeah. it's like I a think service the expectations industry. are different though oh. i'm yeah. just generalizing it I'm no, being an asshole. I have worked in a worked restaurant. Since. I have worked in a restaurant. And this is freaking funny. Yeah. I don't know. It's pretty <laughs> accurate too. It really made me fucking crack up though because it reminded me of you guys. So I'm sorry to blend you and I don't know if that's disrespectful or not, but it's not. There's nothing wrong with working in restaurants. Okay. I worked yeah. there no, for years. No, it no. me pay for my no. college, okay? Some of my best friends work in a restaurant. <laughs> Mind you, I had no business doing it because I was like 18, 19 years old. I was 19 years old. Like, I should, why am I serving alcohol? I, listen, oh. yeah, there's there's a lot of shady shit going on in bars. Let me tell you. I'm going to say one thing. and I you. Okay. I, you know what? I'm going to let this one roll, actually. And then we'll just, we'll talk about it. I get upset when I say this. You Marnie s- Cromwell, gay. Sophie Cromwell, gay. Dylan Cromwell, gay. Gwen Cromwell, gay. Agatha Cromwell, gay. Calabar, gay. That is one of the gayest movies I have ever seen in my entire life. It is so extremely homo. It's insane to me. (laughs) And I mean that obviously as an ally to the gay community. Honestly, so is that damn skeleton. Benny? Benny? Yeah. I'm going to say one thing. What movie is that? Right? This is not for you. This is not one. This is not for you. This is for Halloween Town. Yeah, Halloween Town. But I, I recognize the skill. Yeah, yeah. we, we just, we actually, me and Nick just watched all three of the trilogy because number four doesn't exist, obviously. Obviously. I say or, this, actually, I, I always said this. I always said that, like, Marnie is off gay. I don't, I don't usually ascribe gayness, like children, like Sophie and whatever. But, like, yeah, Marnie, big gay. Big, big gay. Big yeah. gay. Benny, <laughs> hella gay. I can hella gay. This. How do you say fuck around and find out in sign language? That's going to be a fun one. Okay, so for... Listen, I, I do sign, and this was fascinating because, well, I don't do the find out the way he does it, but the way that he does it is really fucking funny. 
Don't do it in Chicago or like places like that, but it's, it looks so cool. Stick two hands like this. You must be from the East Coast. Fuck. Make the palms hit. Fuck. Around. And if we find out, you're not using find and then out and sign like it because that will be different meanings. You want to find out or figure out. Take two Ks, put the thumb between the first two fingers and do this while making a questionable face. Find out. So, <laughs> Fuck around, find out. <laughs> so in in, in in on the West Coast, we do figure. Don't, don't like, do it, our no, Chicago no, no. viewers. No, no, no. Figure is like this though. So oh, he's okay. doing the K's, but in the West Coast, we do figure like okay. that. I thought it was funny though, because yeah, on the East Coast, it's just way cooler. It's like <laughs> it's more wide. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, just sign language in general is like you know, it's um, situational or like community based. So yeah, it if can I'm, vary if greatly. I'm remembering my toilet time, the next one brings it back to the age conversation. So the only no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It brings it back to the restaurant conversation. This guy is a fucking god at telling stories. Let me tell you about this guy. I went in a rabbit hole down this man. TikTok because the way that he delivers a story is transcendent. <laughs> I am in just, if, just fucking watch, dude. The restaurant ghosted the restaurant. Like, didn't show up for work one day, hasn't called, hasn't come since, hasn't texted. At one point, someone reached out and was just like, hey, like, let me know you're alive or I will call the cops. And she was like, I'm good. I just can't deal anymore. So for the past several days, we have operated without a manager. And it's kind of like that scene from The Office, you know? It's like everyone comes in and just does their thing. And it's fine. We're all functioning adults. The only thing is that when someone's like, oh, let me speak to your manager. Like, I want to speak to her too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a service that we provide right now. So last night, <laughs> on a surprisingly busy Wednesday, some dude is sitting at the bar by himself. looking. Like, I don't see one cut in this. He's like, we have an issue with this menu. Okay. And I was like, we, I mean, I don't have an issue with this. So unless you're talking about the voices in your head, you're just sitting here by yourself. But yeah, what's the issue with the menu? Did I give you the wrong one? Is there a misprint? And he's like, there's no tacos on here. <laughs> and I said, yeah, this is a Brazilian restaurant. So we don't serve tacos. And he's like, well, you know, I really want tacos. I'm meeting my family here later tonight. So do you think you guys can whip something up for me? And I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, we have a menu. I'm happy to point you towards this appetizer, this appetizer, this thing instead. And he's like, well, does your chef not know how to make tacos or something? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't think it's a skill issue. It's just that's not on our menu. Like, this is Southern California. You can go somewhere else for tacos. And he was like, so you're really telling me you're not going to be accommodating to me as the guest? And I said, nope. Sorry, dude. And he goes, okay, well, let me speak to your manager. And I got to look him straight in the eye and say, no. And he was like, what, what do you mean, though? No? And I said, you can't speak to our manager. And he's like, uh, well, well, why not? And I said, they're not in right now. And he goes, okay, well, when will he be back? And I said, I can't tell you that. It felt so good. It felt so good. It felt so good. <laughs> I can't tell you it that. It felt so good. And he's like, what do you mean you can't tell me? I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I really can't tell you when the manager's getting back in. But if there's anything else that I can help you with, please let me know. So one of the other servers is walking by. He's like, excuse me, excuse me, young lady, young lady. This man will not let me speak to your manager. And she basically did the same thing. She was like, yeah, no, you can't speak to the manager right now. She's not in. And he's like, oh, well, when will she be back? And she was like, oh, I don't really know. <laughs> no drug has ever gotten me to the point <laughs> that that has. Absolutely fantastic feeling. So he basically just sat there in like shock and awe because we wouldn't let him speak to the manager. And he obviously wasn't used to that. And then after 20 minutes was just like, fine, whatever, I'll order this appetizer. And he was so upset, but oh my God, what a great feeling. What a great feeling to say no, to say no. Ah. So love this, honestly. <laughs> so the only manager at my restaurant- I think, he, I think he could even take it further. I would just said, nah, I don't want to serve you anymore. <laughs> Just a I, rip, rip, just rip nah. user. yeah. Bye. You have a right to review service to anybody, I believe, right? In California, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But upon anything you want to say no to, you like, can. Nope, yeah, you gotta go. That's your God-given right, bitch. Anyway, I love this man. I yeah, it I was get, a beautifully directed.
Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have nearly enough tension. Um, I don't want to fuck up my little screen capture here, but if I do end up making a short, I'll make sure he's get tagged. But goddamn, uh, so what a rabbit good. hole too. The stories mm. that he shares is really good. Yeah. Someone just told me that the cat. Okay, okay. This is we're bringing it back to age and and hypothesis. And I need you guys to be expansive with your brain cannons and your creativity. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone just told me that the cast of Friends is now the same age as the cast of Golden Girls were when they first started, and I realized that's the show that I want. I want all the Friends characters to retire to the same senior village in Florida. Golden Friends. Someone just told me that the okay, cast of Friends... Okay, stop is- it. But he- hear me out. They can keep the original Golden Girls theme song. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> True. Right? It would... True. Travel around the world and beg again. Right? <laughs> oh <laughs> my so god, that would be, would be sick. so would be good. Sick. I would watch it. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Now it's time to hypothesize. Now it's time to hypothesize. Where are the friends? So what are they doing? Oh. They're retired. They're about to come back and meet up. Why are they doing this? What's going on? I want this show to happen so bad. <laughs> okay, maybe. I mean, so they all kind of had kids, right? Except so- for Phoebe and Joey at the end. Yeah. I think Joey runs for office in some sort of Florida town. I can see that. I think Phoebe is a still struggling artist. No, she's the head. She's successful now. She's the head. Successful. I I think it would be cooler if she wasn't. No. And we ride the story of her success in her golden year. Oh. Mm. Or maybe maybe they're all coming back together because Phoebe actually died. I actually think it would be someone else. Ooh, who's dead? Who didn't make it, dude? Ross? I feel like Ross didn't make it. Or Monica. And I think I think Chandler and uh, Ross are still. Why would you ever wish that? Because in American culture, we like to kill off the women. But yeah, in I American kill off all the men. (laughs) But in medical statistics in America, women actually outlive men. Yeah, that would be way more realistic, but I'm not talking about realistic. <laughs> I'm talking about fantasy. <laughs> I'm talking about patriarchal writing. Listen, this is a reboot. I think we're all wanting, honestly. I, I couldn't think of a better reboot, and I don't think that there's any really real good Dude, reboots. They, they would make so much money. Do it. Yeah, do it. 10, 10 out of 10. I would recommend no this. So there's been some- Okay, this is this is a controversial take and I, I wanted to watch this. Have you guys seen the Target Run video? Do you know what's going on? No. No, no you have no idea? Is she gonna... Does she show the Target? If she does. She does a really good job of going over it. So this man essentially goes to Target. It's his day off or something and it's just a pretty much a vignette of his day off. Okay. Most of which is taking place is at Target. Is it like how many things do I have to steal until they call the police? Kind of no, no, no. This is just a man filming his day. Okay. This is on the discussion of like filming in public. Okay. So as content creators, I think we have some legs to stand on. Yeah, as people I mean, who have Japan filmed in public. is already considering like yeah privacy laws so this man uh takes a tripod everywhere with him and i think this woman this creator does a very very good job at breaking down like <laughs> how ridiculous it is yeah so there i'm a little biased though because i just don't really like this style of filming in 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 person okay. um and we could talk more about it but let's watch it let's give her the space here video i've seen a couple, a couple of people talk about this particular video and how you know that some people are saying oh he's bold some people are saying he has audacity but pretty much like uh this grown man took his tripod into target and pretty much filmed this whole kind of like day in the life target run but people are up in arms about it for me personally i'm just like y'all new age influencers y'all really have some guts because the way that i've been influencing for like almost 10 years and i would never bring my tripod into target like check this out first of all to get this shot he had to park his he had to get out the car set up the camera then get back in the car do you guys want to watch the video first for context no it's fine we're already halfway through Okay, okay, okay. Because I, I thought she was going to show the video, but it looks like she's just going to scroll, like show Lights. screen caps. Yeah, like just picture still. get the shot of him parking. This dude put his tripod <laughs> all the way on the other side of the grocery store. 
Yeah. And like, look, I'm not, I'm not even being um, me. I'm not trying to be me. I'm just really just flabbergasted that this is the age of influencing that we're at. Because I don't know. I just, even though I've been influencing for a while, I can't do it. I'm not finna do that. <laughs> But what tripped me out is he actually filmed the checkout, and as you can, if you actually watch this, at the end he actually had a shot of him walking off, right? So that means he had to set up the camera, check out, he walked off, and then he had to turn back around to go get his phone. And I know people are looking at him like, "Bruh, is you serious?" But hey, look, get your money because that that video got hella views. So if you're a part of the TikTok creative program, you probably got, you know, you probably made some bank off that video. You know who you it might be you know you, you, that might have been a brand deal with target i don't know but get your coins <laughs> i'm just like bro these new age influencers i can't because it, it seems like you can never be like have a regular day everything has to be filmed that's just not me Ooh, excuse me that's just not me <laughs> i don't know but hey Cool, Seattle. No, it, that, that is the debate, though, right? And it's been raging for a while. You mentioned it in Japan. Like, it's not even just here. It's like these people, they go out and they, they just film everything now. And, yeah. and it's almost to be expected, like, when you leave your house. <laughs> I, Beware, you might be on camera, right? The, what I have... Or, <laughs> my opposition to this is purely from like wait opposition to what can you just be to, a little of clear this here? type of uh this type of filming this ca- type of content creation you're against this type of content creation or of the way he's doing it yeah mm-hmm. totally yeah uh, but i could change my mind depending on it if some of my questions could be answered mm-hmm. is like i don't want to be on camera did he ask permission for these people like he didn't even blur they're technically their faces. in public right I, I think I it's a little different for workers work because place. they're having to be there. Yeah, like I, for one, I, for one, I do choose to be at work, but I don't choose to be at work and also be filmed. And I think this comes from like, I think moving into 2023 and onward, I think everyone should look at your your likeness and your presence at a monetary value. Because you could be making content and making value from your visage and your likeliness. I mean, even look at Mr. Beast right now, who got uh, his AI likeness uh, licensed and monetized by Microsoft. Like he just made that deal. Like you're, you are, you have value, but you also have monetary value now. Like you literally have monetary value from this and the sounds that you make. And yeah. the thoughts in your head. And I think that if you're not asking people for the permission, you're taking advantage of their likeliness. And that's where I come at it from. Like if someone came into my place of work and started filming, I'd be thinking like, you didn't ask my permission. I'm not a part of your video and you're going to monetize that video. And what you're going to take all the money. No, you just made content from my- what I'm doing for you. I'm making you coffee. Now you're going to probably try and film me making the coffee now. Like I didn't give you permission to do that. That's, that's work that I'm doing for you. You know, like, like I, I just think that it's wrong unless you're getting permission and say it is worth it to you. Then pay me, pay someone, pay this person who's bagging up all your stuff. Like they're a part of the content that you're making. Like, yeah, it sucks that we even have to think about it in that way. But I think that if you don't think about it in that way, like you're stupid, you're being taken advantage of. And the people want you to be stupid. That's the point is yeah. like people want you to be stupid yeah, so that they can have all the money. Well, and I also think it, it like going off of what you're saying, if you're at work, obviously you have to do your job. So it's not fair for them to take advantage of the fact that you have to be there and doing your job. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, and you're so right. Anytime somebody has come into the coffee shop that we work at and has taken a picture, Mm -hmm. I always move out of the way. Or if they ask me if they can take a picture, I said, yes, but I don't want to be in your picture. Let me move out of your way. Or if they've done videoing and they're asking our manager, our owner, whatever, I say, I do not want to be anywhere mm-hmm. on the photo yeah hey that's a good that's and a good the policy. only time i've been in photos it's been twice and it was only because i agreed to because you could not see my face you could only see me partially from behind and that was it 
And I, I'm sorry. You're right. I, I'm sorry. I don't. Mm-hmm. You're taking advantage of me. No, it feels weird. feels like you're violating something at my place of work. I'm really solid. And I, I don't think fair. anyone should feel bad about like not even having thought about that. Like, no, it's something you it's new, right? She I said literally like am creation. thinking about that right now. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's new, new content. That's why we're having to think about it now. So it's something, you know, that mm-hmm. everybody should invest in like thinking about. Totally. All right, Nikki, you brought some TikToks. I did. Um, I love the theme so far. <laughs> the, some of them are just uh, fun and some of them are relatable. Yeah, I love good croc. Um, love a good car is cinematic universe. Uh-huh. So this crossover is right just in my wait. Head. Just wait. Just feature on the Whoa, new modern that's croc. loud as fuck. This is Rascal Flats. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get fucking DMCA for this. Oh, <laughs> it's like a tomato <laughs> is towing it. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> That's awesome. I know, right? I fucking get down with that. <laughs> Isn't that so it. cute? <laughs> Thank you for sending that to me. Yeah. Um, this one's moving so fast. Only five seconds. Everyone talks about their teenage emo phase, but no one talks about their mid-20s. I try to be normal and have a <laughs> ton of full circle back to the emo phase again. <laughs> this, this is like, this is like, you know. Targeted. Yeah. Fucking targeted. What's the song this they're playing? I feel. Oh, okay. That was loud as fuck. Sorry about that. I can't make it. Was I was I singing that song earlier today? Yeah, maybe. I'm telling you. I feel see it's relatable. I knew Baby it. Oh my this is how I feel. Yeah. I, I was feel. literally just singing that in the fucking video with the audio test we did. I know. I know. It's relatable. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the emo? Because my heart is in Ohio. You get it. You get so it. Put my wrist in. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> accidentally. This is f- just. This is a fucking Dom- Domar video. Whatever it's called. Domar. What is his name? Um, Darman. This is a fucking oh, Darman video. I didn't know that. This I don't is, know this, if I want to watch this. Friend. She's my flatmate. She's a bit weird. It's a she, fucking Darmon video, right, dude? Movie. And then she made me promise it's to funny, be her though. friend forever. I was but like, we don't have to okay. watch it. After that, she invited all of our family together for a friendship party. Like a ceremony? Kind of, yeah. Did you wear a suit? Yeah. And she wore this big elaborate No, dress. it's not a Darmon well, video. It's not. Yeah. It's funny. How did you know? I don't know. Hey, do you guys ever, like, I don't know, like, what kind of... We are friends with benefits, if you know what I mean. And do you, like, like sleep in the same bed and stuff? Yeah, because it saves a bunch of money on rent, and it leaves the other two rooms free for her kids. Kids? Yeah, she's got two kids. Did she have those, like, before she moved in with you, or was that, like, later? She had them, like, about a year after our friendship party. Holy f***, Ron, I think you're married with kids. What? You had a girlfriend. Friend. She moved in. Yeah. You got married. Friendship party. And then she had your children. <laughs> Are you married? You. I know. I couldn't buy in. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love you so fucking much. That's you know funny, that? Right? I fucking love you. <laughs> Maybe it's because men are trash I and we don't respect love you, them. Babe. All right, what's going on here? I'm they're sorry. so funny. Um, if they eat pumpkin pie, uh, then they're freaking. They're gonna forget about it. Do you, are you a liar? Are you a fucking liar? No, just watch it. It's funny as fuck. How are they gonna claim they're loyal when they're eating all those pumpkin products? What? Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Red flags, red flags. Pumpkin eaters <laughs> are cheaters. Yeah, How it's just a gonna- joke. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Okay. Listen, I haven't cheated on anybody. Okay, I am not. I, but I, did they I am cheat a on you? E- yeah. Fuck. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, next episode, I don't speak Roman numerals, Attack of the Cups. Hey, so you guys think if uh, I stop eating pumpkin pie, people will stop cheating no, on me? it's not about you, it's about them. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Yeah. Hey, man, what can I get you? Hey, man. No, I'm not busy. What's up? Yeah? Wow, that is crazy. Well, you see, that's just because I'm more important than everyone else. Oh, oh, take those things off! Uh-huh. You're just going to stand there and make everyone wait on you? What? Are you some special kind of stupid... What? Say what again? I dare you! What? You're getting decaf. <laughs> Wait, do you guys ever do that? No, it's but I do walk nah, away. You can fucking be honest, dude. Have you ever given anybody decaf that you didn't like? Be honest. No. Because mm. decaf is harder to pull sometimes. Yeah, it's easier in my life to not do it. Oh. 
But you better really not like someone to be pulling decaf for him then, I guess. This no, guy. I leave the tension at the register. I just walk away until they get off the phone. It's really big of you. But it does get me in trouble. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I've done this and I will continue to do this. Could don't do this. Walk away from the register if you have to take a phone call. I, if I go up and you're on your phone and you're on your phone to having a conversation and like you do this to me, I'm going to take my sweet time. You're ready now? Well, you can wait on me now just like I waited on you. They can go fuck themselves sideways in the alley. That's what they can do. I've done so it true. and I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Try me. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Yeah, Fuck but it, it off, happens dude. more often than you think. Yeah, it's like kind of weird. It's so disrespectful. I just walk away and uh, then I'm like, are you ready? And they're like, yeah. And then I'm like, I'm gonna wash my hands now. <laughs> I'm gonna dry my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm I gonna actually grab have other fucking else. things to do right now. <laughs> I'll be right with you. Petty, I like it. I'm here for it. All right, next. Harry Potter movie night. Oh my God, oh, it's almost time. time. I've seen this. It's almost oh, time. You guys are ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you guys it, for it key it though, if we don't get these stacks and the broomsticks. There's broomsticks? Just watch it. So good. We're going to do this. Happy birthday, Harry. A little smushed, but. It's, it's low effort, but it's still magnificent. It's so fun. I think this could have been done a little bit better. Mm. What was that supposed to be? Popcorn? Just popcorn with like candy in it. Oh, that's fun. Isn't that Thank cool? You. That was a good idea. I, I Wait really for it. That. It gets better. Not this. This is just refreshing. <laughs> this is just, oh, oh gilly water. Oh, gilly water. Oh, that's cute. This butter beer. Interesting. Wow. Yes to all of this. Absolutely. This is what we will be doing. What's with the paint? Wait for it. Mm. Make your own wands, but we have our about own that. wands. Yeah. I bought my wand in Salem. I think I would have done like something with a candy cane for the wands. Mm. Like marshmallow or something. Yeah. That way you can eat this, the wand. The know. wand too, yeah. Um, but I, I, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that cool. we're going to do it. We're going to do it this uh, holiday season. Because Harry Potter's a Christmas movie. Fight me on it. My favorite Harry Potter movie is The Order of the Phoenix. I like all of them. They're all great, but you have to pick one. If I have to pick one? Yeah, my favorite one is Order of the Phoenix. It's very high highs and very low lows, and I feel like it's something relatable. I think I like Prisoner of Azkaban. Okay. Man, this is fucking hard. Everyone gets, wanna, everyone gets Philosopher's Stone, though. No, everyone gets that one. No, no, no. I was going to go with my, my gut. My gut, like, initially, my first knee-jerk reaction was to say The Chamber of Secrets. Mm. Um, a good one, though. Yeah. with Yeah, Jenny Weasley, that storyline kind of pops mm -hmm. off in the way that the movie, like, the whole thing resolves. I think it's, like, a really important movie. Mm -hmm. um, and it always means a lot to watch it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. after you've seen the whole thing, you're like, this movie's kind of fucking... Well, you, and you learn all the connections too. Like mm, in yeah. the first movie, like, you know, he talks to snakes, but like, you don't know why. Yeah. And then it comes up yeah. again. And it's like, oh, what the heck? He's got a connection to the main baddie. Yeah. Like it, it's mm -hmm. like the first time where it all starts to come together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You get teased. Which I first, would say but... is also a reason why I like Order of the, Fe Order of the Phoenix. Because yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. 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 You yeah. start getting more. All a lot the lore, lore and yeah. like, oh, I see the big battle coming. You know, mm. like you start getting all the the goblet the of stuff. fire. Also oh, good. It's really good too, though. I think it's so the dark. movie though, it's so dark. I, I yeah. think the movie though should have just been longer I, yeah. because there's so much stuff in the book that like I can't justify not having seen. Mm, and right. it's just like I mean all sick. the books though are really long but or Goblet of the Fire or, sorry Goblet of the Fire Goblet of Fire is significantly significantly bigger than most of the books except for like the seventh one I think mm. and they skipped a lot of stuff I won't yeah. say in case you guys want to read the book Spoiling but, Harry Potter yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweetheart this but, guy. <laughs> Like there's just so much in that book. It is so juicy and it is. I feel it like is. they could have put it in a little bit more. I could, they could have put it. That's the only movie that I really have like a gripe with. 
Number seven, I think they broke it up into two parts, which was smart. I think they could have done, done. Oh, done maybe that. they could have done that with Goblet of Fire, because yeah. they could have broken it up into two parts. Yeah. Okay. Dude, we're at about an hour and twenty fucking minutes, you guys. Which is average. We just <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there. This was episode sixty-one of the React Lord podcast. We are your React Lords. I'm Nathan. Nikki. V. Communism forever. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It's so dumb. <laughs>